So how cool would it then be if somebody types in something like this to do, cleaning up my room, and then it would take this to do, create a new sheet here, to do, and then add it in that sheet. That's what we want to make. So uh, this should be the input. We receive this, so the text here will be something with this. Uh, in in the hold on, we call it apenstaartje. It's this add sign, this one. So we're gonna test, see if, and uh, we do regular expression for this. S uh, this means that a string starts with this add sign, and we're gonna test the text for that. And if this is the case, if this is true, then we're going to work here and create this spread this new sheet and work with it so this sheet name we can give this a name sheet name should then be equal to the part after the first add sign and then up to the uh, space there so how do we do this we can use text and we can use this function slice method slice and then we can split the this string with all the spaces and then we take from that this will give an array of all the words actually we take the first word which is in this case to do because it will start on the second character because of slice one and then we'll split it with all the spaces and it will take the first word which is to do so this will become the name of our sheet so how do we create a new sheet well looks a bit similar as, as what we have here. We get our spreadsheet here, so this spreadsheet object here, and we can insert a sheet, and you can say that, you can see that it's sheet name as an input, but oh, it's already nice. And then we can save this under variable sheet, and now we can work with this sheet. So we can append, uh, append a row, like we did before, we can just copy this here. Um, I don't like the contents, it's a bit messy, so I leave it out here. So also um, uh, we can then say something back, send text idea, and we can say your text. And then we have to be safe, it's not, uh, it's not text, because text also did contain this to do with the sign. So in this case, uh, new text is text split. And then we take out the first one. So we slice it and then we join it again with spaces. That's the new text. And also we add it here. Is now added to the sheet, sheet name. So let's see if this one works. I'm gonna save this as a web app, of course, again, and then we're gonna test it. So I type in this. Your text cleaning of my room is now added to the sheet to do. That looks nice. And we have this new sheet to do, and it has added cleaning of my room, which is really great. So uh, I can also make a bucket list, uh, uh, parachutes, add that or I can make one is art uh, listen to Wim and Heather that's that's me on the guitar um, and it has added bucket list and art but there's one problem if I type in uh, another to do it's not responding it will only say hi Wim coding but apparently there is a mistake and I've, there's another thing that's really important when you want to debug with this system you could send yourself an email every time something goes wrong but i'm going to try and catch it with this thing so i try the whole thing and then catch it the error in this object e i'm not going to send myself an email but i'm going to send a text to myself uh, in this case whim idea i'm going to stringify this um, error object, send it to myself. And this Wim idea, uh, I'm going to save here as a global variable. And what is my own idea in this whole process? Well, that's this one, of course. So every time something goes wrong, it will send a text to myself 
on Telegram, which is a really cool way to do it. And I can indent this also nice by using FN tab on the Mac. So that's also built in functionality. So now I'm going to save this again and see what the error will be if I make up a second to do. So I made up a second to do and nothing happens. So, so I found out the reason that we don't get this error logging back is that because I'm sending a JSON stringified object. So it's going to go to this function send text. And now I have added this encode URI component here because if you send an HTTP get re request here with this fetch app, you need to encode this right because this JSON object will be confused in a way. So this is the solution, encode URI component. If you want to know more about it, look for this one and you will find out how it works. But anyway, so we can now, uh, I've saved this uh, as a new web app. And now uh, you see that if I typed in the to do, it will say a C name with a name to do already exists. So that will give an error. So we need to find a way to check if the sheet is already existing when we insert the sheet. So when we insert to do again, it will give an error in this row 45. So we can do this by, and now it's also nice to have a variable for the spreadsheet. So it makes it easier. So um, this will just become ss dot insert sheet, but we can also check if the sheet already exists. So we uh, get a sheet by name, sheet name. And now I don't know if you know this in JavaScript, but you can use this question mark. So if this is true, then we will take, uh, we will take that sheet here. And if it's not true, we'll insert that sheet and take this as this variable sheet. So Maybe first time it's a bit hard to see what, what happens. So this variable sheet we will assign something, either this or that. It depends if this is true. So if this is true, we can get the sheet already by this name. We'll, we'll get the sheet with this sheet name. But if it's not existing yet, we insert that sheet and we take that as a sheet. So now if we type in this, deploy it again, it should just work also when we have a second to do. I think it works, so we can go back to this thing and see we've added two more to-dos. So now we have a robust thing that works for everything that we want to add.